I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hoover Hawks. Today is Friday, May 15th, 2020. Happy Friday, boys and girls. You know, I always like to highlight our champions, and I really want to highlight today all of our champions for kindness. Boys and girls, I have heard about how many ways you have gone above and beyond to be kind to others. Whether it's kind by helping a classmate, even remotely, you've been willing to say, yeah, let's meet up, let's figure out this assignment together. Whether it's been you've been kind to a little brother and built a fort with them or helped them build something with Legos. Or you've been kind to your parents and you've helped with the job around the house where you've said, okay, mom, I know you need to get your work done. Like I can go play for a little bit by myself. Um, you have gone above and beyond to be kind to all of your family members, but also to your teachers and our staff. And we really appreciate that. So you are all champions for kindness. A little update from me this week, I've been working on a puzzle. I'm gonna show it to you. It's upside down, obviously, but it was a really fun puzzle, Kate, and I just finished it today. All right, I hope you've been finding fun things to do with your family members. Um, I do just want to highlight that next week, actually, I'll start with this week. This week, your teachers each had an opportunity to come to school and to make sure that they packed up all the things that belong to you. So maybe you've been missing your favorite marker set or your crayons or your notebooks all those materials that you'll be able to continue to use over the summer. So they packed those up for you. So next week, every class, so let's say you're in Mrs. Jacoby's class, there's a 30 minute drive through time. So we have invited your parents, I sent them an email, you can have them check it, but where they're gonna drive up where normally our buses go, they're gonna actually drive through that lane and they're gonna stop and they're gonna open their trunk and when it pops open, Hopefully there'll be a bag for us in there and it will have maybe any library books you need to return or school books, or if you're a sixth grade student safety patrol, it might be your patrol vest that you're returning to us. Um, but all those items would be in a bag and would be labeled with your name and room number. Um, we will then take that bag out and we'll put the bag in the trunk of the things that we packed up that we found in school. So maybe you even left your winter boots, whatever you left here, we put in the bag for you. Um, we do need your help, though, because if you do happen to be riding along in the car, we, we need you to stay inside the car, right? We want to make sure you stay healthy and our staff stays healthy. So you can certainly wave to us through the window, but we do ask that all people remain in their vehicle or inside their car. Um, if you could, this would be the last thing that would really help me out. If you could take an eight and a half, like a normal size piece of paper, and you could write the room number. Let's say I'm in Mrs. Novaral's room, I'm in room 101. So at the top of the paper, I would write room 101, and then below it, I would write my last name. So if I'm a student and my last name was Rosenblum, I would write big letters Rosenblum. But if I had a different last name, whatever my student last name is, so I put my, my room number and then my last name in big letters, if you could have somebody hold that up in the passenger window, that means when your car drives by, I could say, oh my gosh, that's the Bernie family. Let's grab Jermaine's bag or whoever it is. I can grab their bag and I can have it ready for them. Um, so anything you can do to help us with that, make sure you do know when your class time is. So it is separated by class. So even if you have you're a second grader and you have a fourth grade sister, like you will have two different pickup times and they might even be on different days. So I did send that schedule to your parents, um, but anything you can do to help us would be great because we want to make sure you have a chance to get back your important awards. All right, Hawks, let's be champions together. Hi Hoover Hawks, I'm Megan. I'm in fifth grade. I just wanted to say, you guys are doing an amazing job on pre-learning of all the things I've heard. You all are doing a great job and we're all gonna see each other soon, hopefully. We're all in this together. 
And whatever happens our way, Hoover will be here for you. We hope you're all staying safe and healthy. We all hope we'll see you next year. We miss you, and we hope that we, Hoover Hawks, will stay as champions together. I know everybody in the school misses you, your friends, and everybody. Hopefully you have a Zooms or FaceTimes with them a lot. Hopefully you get to see your class in Google Meetings or Zooms. But you know, Hoover, your teachers are doing the best they can. And your teachers are champions right now. We miss you, and we hope to see you soon. Have a Hoover Day. And remember, we're all in this together. Bye, Hoover. So we are all in this together. Hopefully, we will be able to see each other soon. When you feel lonely or sad, you can just go outside, ride your bike, get some fresh air, and walk around the neighborhood. Maybe hit some baseballs or shoot a basketball into a basketball hoop. It is Friday, and that means it's Smencil time. You know, I love to highlight our Smencil winners each week. So first, I would like to highlight Caitlin. Caitlin, I'm so proud of all your hard work in virtual learning. Thank you for sharing on the Hoover Padlet all the new cooking tools you got for your birthday. I love that you and your family are learning new cooking skills together during quarantine. That French bread pizza sounds delicious. Miss Smith. John, I'm so proud of you for using the weekly checklist to help you stay organized. It shows how responsible you are and how much you care about your work. You're rocking the learning. Keep up the amazing work, Miss Lee. Cody, I'm so happy you were able to connect this week with your classmates. It was so fun playing our game show, Who's That Baby? during our Google Meet, where we guessed who each picture was in our classroom. We were all so happy to see you. I hope you can make it again next week. Miss Smith. All right, and I have one more for you boys and girls. My last one today is for Mario. Mario, each and every day you are a champion. You are an excellent independent worker and know when to ask for help. I really enjoyed our Google Meet chat and hearing all about your fun family projects at home. Keep up the positive attitude, Mrs. Medea. All right, I have many more Smenso winners, boys and girls. Congratulations to Aria from 102, John from 109, James from 108, Maggie from 107, Sheeta, Gavin, and Vidit from 111, Brendan from 120, Phoenix and Veronica from 207, Rajuta from 205, Dia, Lynn, Alexa, Veronica, and Jazz Krat, oh, and Audrey, all from room 207. Maz, Aaron, Fatima from 113, Jamil, Marlissa, Aria, Jimmy, all from room 111, Amelia from 116, Jack, Nick, Rio, Hassan, and Shanvita from 110. Andre, Brooke, and Mario from 118. Aman, Braden, Nadoka, Bansari, Aisha, Rashita, and Ella from 119. Arthi, Arthi David, Brandon, Malaz, and Rajuta from 205. Caitlin, Cheyenne, and Cody from 112. Mrs. Boeing, John, Kavya, Justin, Tisa, Eddie, Dina, Patrick, and Jasmine from 120, and Anya from 116. Congratulations to all of this week's Mensa winners.